ever wanted to understand guitar or bass electronics but didn't want to have to get a degree, then this series is for you. There are two main types of pickups used for guitars and basses. Magnetic pickups, which utilize a moving magnetic field to produce an electronic signal. If you haven't done so, I recommend going to the links in the description to see the previous episodes where we talk in detail about how magnetic pickups work. The other type of pickups, which is the emphasis of this episode, are piezo pickups. They utilize changing pressure on a special type of crystal known as a piezoelectric crystal to produce an electronic signal. This is known as a piezoelectric effect. Note that piezo stands for pressure, and that's one way to remember the distinction between this and the magnetic pickups. We won't go into the physics of why it works, but know that the piezoelectric effect is very useful in the electronics industry. In fact, several of the electronic items I'm using to create this video have piezoelectric uh, elements used throughout the electronics. All right, let's talk about the piezo crystal and how it works. Here we have a cylinder that's representing our piezo crystal. Let's use something to measure the voltage generated by the crystal, uh, known as a voltmeter. At rest, the dial on the voltmeter is centered at zero. Let's add a cable to the piezo crystal to the voltmeter so that we can measure the voltage generated by this crystal. In this case, an up pressure where the arrow goes up, causes a positive voltage. Notice that the needle on the meter on the voltmeter goes up. Pressing down on the piezo creates a negative voltage. All right, let's talk now about how piezo pickups apply to instruments. Here we have an acoustic instrument body. Let's add to it a bridge with a piezo pickup. Let's add a string will bring our voltmeter back as well as a cable from the instrument's pickup to the voltmeter. Recall that the piezo pickup responds directly to vibrations, so as the string starts vibrating, the piezo pickup responds by generating a voltage proportional to the vibrating string. As this animation continues, let's discuss some piezo pickup characteristics. The first is you don't need a ferrous or magnetizable string, unlike a magnetic pickup. You can have a nylon string instrument or even drums. And this is why you can tap on the bridge in this case on this instrument and you would hear the tapping directly. Now, while we have the piezo placed under the bridge saddle, it actually can be placed anywhere on the instrument that resonates with the string. Some points are more resonant than others. Usually it's placed under the bridge saddle. Uh, sometimes it's placed on the top as on this picture here. The placement is subjective, but the bridge makes practical sense. It's protected by the saddle if it's under the saddle. There's not a lot of extraneous noise at the bridge as opposed to the inside back of the guitar where it's close to your body and as you play if it's moving against your shirt on your body it can actually pick up that noise because the the pickup is quite responsive while the piezo pickup is usually used on acoustic instruments as is often deemed more quote unquote natural sounding than a magnetic pickup if uh, metal strings are being used Part of this is the piezo pickup has an extremely wide frequency range that it can pick up vibrations. This has some good and bad attributes to it. One good thing is it can pick up low notes extremely well, hence you can tap on it. That's one of the reasons you can pick that up. It also can have very high frequency pickup as well which you may or may not want. It can require shielding for EMI, and I'll, I'll tell a quick story about this. This wasn't necessarily about EMI, it was actually about uh, 60 cycle hum, but I had a customer that 
was having a problem with her acoustic electric guitar not being able to tune. In other words, she play a note and the tuner couldn't figure out what note it was. I uh, did some investigation and it turned out that uh, there was so much 60 cycle hum being picked up by the pickup depending on where it was in the room that it was confusing the algorithm of the tuner. So what I ended up doing was put a uh, copper foil around the piezo element in the bridge shielding that to ground and that took care of it. Not only did it uh, allow the instrument to be tuned but it cleaned up the signal considerably because it no longer had that 60 cycle hum. So the point is just like magnetic pickups uh, shielding can be very important to clean up your signal and we'll talk about that in a future episode as well. We'll explain in more detail in a future video, but piezo pickups driving cables can cause tone degradation without buffers or preamps. Preamps are active and require a power source like a battery, so often the presence of a battery in an acoustic instrument indicates that the pickups being used are piezo. That's often the case, but not always.